And no matter how hard you try to simplify them, they're never going to stay that way. The poem Paper People by Harry Baker explains how when you simplify people and try to reduce them to a simple form like paper, these problems still manage to pop up. I like people. I'd like some paper people. They'd be purple paper people. Maybe pop-up purple paper people, proper pop-up purple paper people. How do you pop up proper pop-up purple paper people? I hear you cry. Well, I, I probably pop up proper pop-up purple paper people when the proper pop-up purple paper people paper clip. But I prepare appropriate adhesives as alternatives. A tiki pack of blue tack, just in case the paper slip, cause I could build up a pop-up metropolis. But I wouldn't want to deal with all those paper people politics, paper politicians with their paper thin policies, broken promises without appropriate apology. There'd be a little paper me and a little paper you. And we could watch paper TV and it would all be paid for a view. We see the sloppy paper wrappers are about their paper package. Or paper people carriers get stuck in paper traffic on the A4. It's a world of pain for writers. Pulling paper triggers on the fear. You live in fear. Because the paper propaganda propagates the people's prejudices. Paper spreading pictures of the photogenic terrorists. It, a little paper me, and a little paper you. And in a pop-up population, people's problems pop up too. There'd be a pompous paper parliament who remained out of touch and who ignored all the protests about all the paper cuts and then the peaceful paper protests would get blown into paper pieces by the confetti cannons manned by preemptive police. And yet, there'd still be paper money, there'd still be paper greed, and the paper picky bakers pocketing more than they need, purchasing the poopery to pepper their paper properties. Others in the poverty and aren't acknowledged properly are proper for economy or so many are proper for it, but while their needs are ignored, the money goes to big war. Origami armies of all plants for paper planes and we remained imprisoned in our own paper chains with the greater shame. Is that it always seems to stay the same. What changes is who's in power, choosing how to leave the blame in any names. Forgetting that these are names of people. Because in the end, it all comes down to people. I like people. Because even when the situation is dire, it's only ever people who are able to inspire and on paper, it's hard to see how we look cool. But at the bottom of Pandora's box, there's still hope, and I still hope, because I believe in people. <coughs> people like my grandpa, who every single day since I was born have taken time out of their morning to pray for me. That's 4,988 days straight of someone checking I'm okay, and that's amazing. People like my aunt, who puts on plays with prisoners. People who are capable of genuine forgiveness. People like the persecuted Palestinians. People who go out of their way to make your life better and expect nothing in return. You see, people have potential to be powerful. Just because the people in power tweet that they're the victims doesn't mean we need to succumb to that system. And the paper population is no different. But, so there'd be a little paper me and a little paper you. And in a pop-up population, people's problems pop up too. The imperfect paper people polluting their perfect planet. But pretending there's no problem doesn't make the problem perish. We should cherish what we have before we sink our only ship. Throw away that paper clip, propping up the proper pop-up purple paper people. So just be careful paper people. Or maybe just paper people.